I mean, I'm not surprised that he's... It's a lot to learn in a short amount of time. Can, Can you, you imagine, imagine how much his advisors must hate him if they went to the press and said that he's not good at foreign policy? I mean, have you ever seen any other presidential candidate have their people turn on them like that? But you have to think about it. If you're in his inner circle, why would you divulge such damning information? This well, that's right. But that's I know what I'm saying. Scared, but but is he in his that. inner circle? And that's what the campaign says, that the New York Times took advantage of an elderly gentleman. This guy was 83 years old. And then Ben Carson responded and said, Call, to call him an advisor would be a stretch. Well, of course he's going to say that now. He said he met with him once or twice, and he isn't clear that uh, he, Claridge is not on his team, isn't part of his team anymore. But Armstrong said he is. But, you know, it's like the guy doesn't believe in evolution, so he, just, he doesn't believe in science. I, History... I, 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 I take issue up with that because Good. that does not mean that he's a dumb man or unintelligent. And you can roll your eyes at I'm me. I'm not rolling my eyes. I just turned my head. <laughs> I turned my head. I don't but I, but to evolution. use that as an argument... I don't believe I in evolution. So. He also doesn't either. believe in history. He says that the pyramids but are filled with grain. But design, there are many I mean, people and great scientists that are all over the world that believe in intelligent design. Really? I, you'd like to, I, I'd like to meet them. Well, I would, I I would, be, I would love to bring disagrees them. With I would, you. I just I would want love you to know, bring them on the show. Disagrees. I would like to have the show have them on. We'll have them on. We'll have, let's we'll have a debate between the Darwinism and the intelligent design. We will invite I'd love to folks see that. on we, because we, we want to have as many conversations as we can. But I, what I never understood is why can't, now maybe I'm crazy, but why can't both be true? Why can't both be true? To be say that someone that, that, that believes in intelligent design does not believe in science is silly. The, the two are, are compatible. How? So How? Explain it. <laughs> I, so, so, you're, you're putting me on the spot okay. because I you because have, the, clearly science, clearly science. You want to yeah. really you wanna, you wanna take? Let's take this sure. up when we come back because it's a conversation. Clearly, we want to have. Mm. So we'll be right back. Hey, now we're back with hot topics. We were having a very spirited <laughs> discussion. So who wants to start? Yeah, I think I just want to make the point because it's such a big conversation about science and intelligent right. design. But I believe that the two are not mutually exclusive. And Ben Carson is a man of science. He's a doctor. He is, I mean, he's a great, great and intelligent surgeon. And so um, I, you know, I think that for you to say that because he does not believe in evolution, to dis dismiss him as a candidate or a, uh, an intelligent candidate is just silly. I just want you to know I, I in the break, Googled. And yes. I found on the statistic that only two percent of scientists uh, believe in creationism. Okay, well, my father, so my father, and my brother are scientists. My sister's a biologist, and they all believe. Right no, no, no. <laughs> but but they all believe in creationism, and I think you know the Bible says we are clear, uh, fearfully and wonderfully made, and I think you especially, Joy, are so wonderfully made. Can I just say that? In both things. <laughs> That's nice. But I, I'm actually asking. <laughs> Right. Because if you believe that God designed us in his or her own image uh, and gave us the intelligence to figure out all the things we've been figuring out, why would we not have the intelligence to figure out how the earth was created from here? I think you can have both. I, I, am, I do get concerned when it's one or the other. I think you have to, you have to embrace both of them because both, one is faith and one is proof. I'm not against and faith at all. No. You Faith that. is faith. And you either have it or you don't. It's like good good hair, you know? And you have but, good hair today, by yeah, the way. I mean, you either have it or you don't. But this, to me, if you go to the Museum of Natural History, if you study anthropology, you see that we did not arrive in this condition mm. over the millions of years that the people have I've been on this I've laid all my monkey hair off. This fly can actually attest. <laughs> I was not fully You can also go to the Creationism Museum, and then you'll see yeah, all the counter arguments yeah, but it, too. It's, but it's I think little, they are compatible. It's, 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 I think it's the, the discussion will continue. I, I'm not sure when right. everything became one or the other, but it's, you know, I guess this is the new world we're in. I love that we can have this discussion. Well, here. we should be having these discussions. Yeah. That's what the show is about. That's right. It's your view, and your view, and your view, and your view. And, you know, they, sometimes they're not always compatible with each other. Mm. But this is what real life is. This is what real life and real adults do. They have discussions that go on and on and we'll have it again. You should be doing the same thing. Y'all are adults. We'll be right back with Quentin Tarantino.